Wonderful. Can you see? Yeah, just have a close-up of me. Welcome to Sunday. How are you doing? Hope you're having a good weekend. Um, and great shaves. Bit of a mix and match. Uh, experimentation maybe. Well, not really experimentation, but um, different. There's a bit of menthol and there's a bit of, uh, for my nose, cake. We'll talk about that now. Anyway, welcome to the Sunday Shave and Razor, we'll look straight into it. Wilkinson Sword Classic, uh, the new version. Twist to open. Blade of choice is going to be a Bic Chrome Platinum, brand new. And uh, in case somebody asked in the comments um, what's the average use you have out of a blade, for me it's up to about three shaves, uh, sometimes four, unless I'm testing a blade for what it what it'll do. I'll go further if it if I want, but usually up to three um, uses. So I've got a Derby Platinum uh, Premium, is it? Platinum, Derby Platinum Premium uh, blade, which I used once in the last shave. So I'll use that for a second time in a future shave, maybe Wednesday, Sunday. So I use them that way. And I've got dice. Dice there, number one, so I know it's used once. Um, you can mark the envelope. Some people put a pen, whatever. So, Bic. All, anyway. <laughs> Bic Chrome Platinum, brand new. Goes in nice and steady. Overhang, there is. Overhang is used as I've said before, to place, to aid us in placement of the blade and uh, retrieving the blade from the razor, even though they can be dangerous if you're not um, uh, aware of them. Uh, some razors don't have it, and most do, uh, but it's, that, it's there for that reason. Um, that's what we're dealing with. Now, this is the thing. Prohibition style accoutrements. Mary Pickford, uh, cherry, pineapple, and bay rum. Now, cherry, very prominent. Pineapple and bay rum, no. Those three combined, for me, cherry bakewell. If you're from the UK, cherry bakewell cakes with almond. You know, remember them? Because I tested this. <laughs> to Mrs. H as I close your eyes and I said tell me what that reminds you of and she said oh cherry bacon so however first we're going to use Parasso um, pre-shave cream uh, so there's a bit of a menthol it's quite smug and smug muggy and uh, warm so I'm going to use that as a pre-shave as I say, a bit of a menthol kick to it, so we've got a bit of cherry bakewell and menthol going on. <laughs> it's mad, isn't it? But before we do that, I'll just rub some of my hands and then I'll wet the face. <laughs> Not long come out the shower. Right. What's that? So how's the... Uh, how are you fine folk doing in yourselves? In your shaves, in your health, in your week. Get it into them bristles. Yeah, I can feel the eyes. Uh, it's not a strong one really, but it <laughs> Every little helps. <laughs> Whoever heard that? Anyway. Right, that's a pre shave. I'm going to lather using the DS Cosmetic Barber Pole Brush. Synthetic, tuxedo knot. Really nice. I'm going to lather straight on. Wet the brush. We'll leave it. Well, not too wet. Leave it uh, quite wet, but not. Hopefully, where it splashes all over the shop. So I'm just going to gather on this, and then hopefully lather up mainly on the face. 
Oh, come on. <laughs> Cherry Bakewell. First thing in the mouth, a bit early for a cake, but... Uh, Right, that'll do. We'll add a bit of water to that and then we'll get on with it. Mm. Now the sensation of a warm water rinse, the coolness of a menthol pre-shave and then a cherry bakewell scent on <laughs> I mean, the sensation is absolutely stunning. Wow. Very nice. And I don't think I've ever tried a big chrome platinum in this razor. Uh, we're going to see how it does. We'll heat it up. Shake it and first pass. Here we go. Feels very smooth. Nice slickness. Now, obviously, it's going to be a bit slicker the soap because I've used a pre shave, which is a good pre shave. The Parasol. And up there. There we go. Very nice. So I'm getting a so give you a running commentary. I'm getting a slick cooling cherry sort of bakewell scent shave. <laughs> Now obviously this soap isn't based on that cake. It's just that what comes straight to my nose um, on the scent profile of it. But uh, which is excellent. Very nice first pass. That blade is uh, a medium aggression there's nothing um, aggressive about it it's very smooth and it's very um i'm gonna say effective yeah still a lot of work to do that's the first pass let me throw the steel razor out we'll touch of water So that little application from the um, puck goes a long way. I've used this soap before, but easy to lather, don't need to bloom it. I just left the brush slightly wetter than I would normally and that was enough sort of moisture to create this cream. Cherry bakewell cream. <laughs> shave of the day, come on. Oh, you may have written it by now. What is your shave of the day today? And meal of the day. Always interesting to see those. It gives me ideas sometimes for myself. 
because my uh, Sunday dinner is going to be roast beef today. Um, I may put a there's a good bit of fat on the top which you need to cook beef nicely and moist, and uh, I may pepper that so just cover it and salt, salt and pepper on that, and it leaves a lovely sort of crunch and sort of ooh, lovely seasoning taste as you uh, cross the growth now. Wilkinson sort of classic. Bic Chrome Platinum, brand new. Lovely, yeah, nice um, sort of seasoned taste. Uh, two Yorkshire puddings, which I made myself a while back. So they'll be brought out an hour before the cooking time because they'll thaw within 30 minutes, really. I'm going to have carrots, broccoli, lashentos of gravy, lots of gravy, and some horseradish on the beef. I usually have mustard or horseradish. Now, I am having gravy, so the, uh, in that, in, oh, I caught myself then talking to me. I, um, in that case, I won't smother the beef when I've sliced it with gravy. I'll leave that sort of just with the horseradish on it and mix it up later when eating. And it's delicious. Oh, and I got a bottle of London Pride Ale cooling in the fridge. To wash it down. Sound nice? Forgot roast potatoes. <laughs> I'm going to roast them, but half boil them, bring them out, shake them, give them rough, and then um, a bit of salt on them, and then they'll be uh, roasted in goose fat. Crispy on the outside, salt, and um, fluffy on the inside. God, get on with it, Paul. Sorry. Yeah, I thought I caught myself here somewhere. There's two dots there. Some of these can be little reopeners, if you like, from previous endeavours, shall we say. Go back, I'm not gonna go back to the water. Tell you what reminds me, especially in my job, of a, a cut, a little sort of thing like that, just a, a nick, just a, maybe sometimes it's not enough to bleed, but it, you've just caught your skin, is a paper cut. Have you ever had a paper cut? And I say in my job, because sometimes if an envelope isn't quite sealed, and it's just slightly open and you grab hold of it and you may rub your finger. It's unrepeatable what I say sometimes. <laughs> right, third, third pass against the growth, so it's this way. A nice razor, good grip. Long handle, which I don't mind either. Um, don't really have a preference, but uh, very nice. Very smooth.
Thank you. It's very much appreciated. And they know you're still alive. <laughs> yeah, it's a very, um, th this blade for me combined to this razor. It's a medium aggression, very smooth, um, very comfortable. And uh, being aware now of this old van. And it uh, performs lovely. And if you don't concentrate like me, giving it too much jibber jabber, it, oh, it was cut there, look at that. Oh, you, that was slow to bleed, wasn't it? Um, it will remind you who's boss. <laughs> Any razor. So, you laugh at this now. Look at the size of this now. Right? That's how it was when it was new. <laughs> Styptic pencil. There we go. Hmm. We'll see. Right. That feels lovely. Very nice. Almond. This uh, cherry bakewell sort of almondy scent is really. It's not, in the beginning because you're not used to it. You think, oh, it's there. But it's it sort of. Uh, eases out during the shave uh, but it's still there it's a nice scent so what time is it three two one pick up time baby so we'll go over this there's enough in this honestly maybe touch of water just to help it there we go there's enough in that there we go. You're wasting nothing. Good grief. Lovely. Just hands with this razor. And pick up time, baby. So, uh, not sure if, did I ask what's on your menu today? Oh yes I did, yeah. This is the one. That's the true pickup time. Beautiful. Cold water rinse. Homemade witch hazel with 
menthol, I keep, <laughs> right for me, menthol crystals. Yeah, not too strong, but present. Here, rub, squeaky, right. That's that. And then, fine snake bite with pure cr mental crystals. This is made of. All right, I'll give it a in case. There you go. <laughs> Plenty of that. I think he'd like the fun of this, maybe. My dad. Wow. Yeah, bit of a kick to that. If it's first thing in the morning, it'll sort of wash your eyes out as well with the, the vapour. And another thing I had in the comments. Did you know you can use this as a pre-shave and a post-shave? Yes, I did. I've used it many times and I'm going to do it today. Uh, as I say, it's a pre-shave, but it's as good as a post-shave. I'm going to put it on as I would normally. Menthol. On. Because it's a well, not too much either. Maybe because um, it's a pre-shave, tend to add a bit more, and that'll the skin will absorb it anyway. Yeah, that is good enough for me. Very nice. Just rinse the hands. Okay, so we've used Wilkinson Salt Classic, the new version, or the latest version, um, with the Bic Chrome Platinum Blade, brand new. Sorry if I'm blinking, but uh, strong there. Um, good blade, fits nicely in this. It's a medium aggression for me, and it was very smooth during the shave. Did the job superbly, and as I say, smooth, comfortable. We've used... This, I love this stuff. Prohibition style accoutrements, Mary, Pickford, Cherry, Pineapple, and Bay Rum. Is it? Yeah. Um, but as I say, for my nose, and Mrs. H's nose, Cherry Bakewell tarts, cakes. If you're from this country, you'll know what I mean. Very nice scent. Very good soap. Easy to lather. Very uh, slick. And as I say, the scent's gorgeous. We've used the Parasso Green pre-shave as a pre-shave and we've used it as a post shave we've used fine snake bite it's not in order this have you noticed fine snake bite after shave that has a good kick of menthol in it homemade menthol crystallized witch hazel we've used a styptic pencil on a couple of dots which i'll use again here um and that was it i'll leave you good folks in in <laughs> In pieces, in peace. Have a great Sunday, the rest of the day, and a, a good start to next week of good health uh, and happiness, hopefully, and um, good shaves. And I shall see you on Wednesday for that midweek shave. And may I say, now I'm just getting this absolutely beautiful cooling sensation all over my face because, as I say, it's quite warm, and that is lovely. So, uh, really enjoyed that. Have a great weekend and I'll see you on Wednesday. Take care. All the best.